Hey basketball players, today I'm going to give you some core workouts that you can do with a medicine ball. Now if you don't have a medicine ball or don't know what it is, basically it's a ball that's super heavy. This one's 8 pounds and you can get them off of Amazon or at your local fitness workout place and you can get them down in the description below. Anyways, today what we're going to be working on is our core. The core, in my opinion, is the most important muscle in the body when it comes to basketball players. And the reason for that is because, of course, when you're driving towards the rim, what is the biggest thing that you activate? Your core. That allows you to stay balanced. That allows you to absorb contact and make that layup. And your core is also help you, helps you a ton when you're trying to dunk, when you're trying to get a very high layup, and if you're trying to run fast. Your core doesn't just consist of your abs, but also your lower back as well. So what we're gonna start with in this first exercise is going to be slam balls. You're gonna get your feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna slightly bend your knees and keep your shoulders back. You don't wanna be hunched over. That's going to injure your lower back and you really don't wanna do that. I've done that, not with these exercises. I actually did it from, it's a long story, going up for a dunk and flipping over a guy. Don't worry about it. But basically, what you wanna do is keep your shoulders back and you wanna go just like that. So shoulders back, slightly bent, and slam it. And that's what you're looking to do with this exercise. You wanna try and slam it as hard as you can. And then what you wanna do is to do 10 to 12 of these at a time. You wanna take a short break, 30 seconds to 60 seconds, and then do that two, three, and even four more times. Now, in this next exercise, we're not gonna be slamming the ball. What we are going to be doing, of course, if you're slamming the ball, you don't wanna do that inside. It's going to break things in your house. So do that outside. This next exercise you can do inside. We're again going to have our feet shoulder width apart and we're going to have our knees slightly bent. We're going to have our shoulders back and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting with the ball right at our belly button and we're going to be looking forward and we're going to be ripping it around and then ripping it back. So you're going to be starting low, shoulders back, ripping it around, ripping it back. And you're trying to do this as quick as you can. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, eight pounds for most people is too much. You need to start with either five or six pounds and then build up from there. If you're younger, if you're 10, 11, start with a two pound ball and then build up. Now this next one is another great core one, but it will also help your shoulders and your arms as well. So we're gonna stay, again, shoulder width apart with our feet, slightly bent, shoulders back, and you can throw it against the wall if you have a brick wall, but if you don't, like I don't right here, and you probably don't either, if I was to throw it up against this fence, I'd probably break something, and I don't really wanna fix things. I just, re I just replaced that mesh up there, and I didn't break it, but the city doesn't ever do anything, so, hey. But what we're gonna do is feet shoulder width apart, we're gonna pass and then tight, pass and tight. And you're gonna do this for 30 to 40 seconds, and you're gonna be trying to tense your core at the same time as doing that exercise. Now another fantastic core workout that you can do with a medicine ball is if you go into a lunge. Now when you do a lunge, what you wanna do is to take a big step forward. Your forward knee should not go past your toe. That is going to create injuries for yourself down the road. And then you wanna to touch that knee almost to the ground. And what you wanna do is rip side to side and you wanna do that for a good 15 to 20 seconds, and then you wanna rest. Get up, switch legs, and do it for another 15, 20, 25 seconds, and then do that three times on each leg. Now this last exercise, definitely have a trainer or a parent with you, because it takes a lot when it comes to form. What you wanna do is to start with the ball at your chest. You're then going to put one of your legs back and you wanna do this with both legs. You wanna go right leg and then left leg. You wanna put your right leg back at first. I'm only gonna do my right leg up because if I go my left leg up, my right knee will probably collapse. I've had too many knee surgeries. But we're gonna go and put that right leg back and then we're gonna try and straighten our body out and then back. Now, that takes a lot of balancing and it takes really good form. You don't wanna be having your, 
your back arched. When you're going out, you want to keep your back straight in line with that leg and then back. You don't want to arch your back at all. I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.